Back to the news here on this Tuesday afternoon. Beautiful weather out there now, as we can see from our Kerry Hilliard Southside Sky Camp. 87 degrees. It is warm and it is muggy. It feels like 93 and we're gonna see a lot of these temperatures into the upper 80s. A few spots could be touching about 90 degrees and we all going to keep it with the mostly sunny skies and dry weather. It looks like for our Tuesday. So there's looking at temperatures across the region. As you can see, mid to upper 80s, 88 now Beaufort and Rankin into uh, Sylvania, even 86 down into uh, Jessup and we're dry on our fair and fair first alert live radar. Again, we don't expect to see any rain showers in here today and there's a cold front back to the west that is producing a little bit of uh, shower activity but you got to get up into the Ohio Valley northern areas of Kentucky to find more of that activity we are quiet you see all the clear skies for our region but down to the south this is what we're going to be watching there is tropical storm Helene and it's still about 860 miles or so to the south southwest of the Savannah area but will be making its way closer to our area impacts expected here starting on Thursday so for tomorrow uh, most of us are going to be dry. Most of the day will be OK. A few isolated showers can't be ruled out with some moisture coming in from the Atlantic. It'll be a warm day by Thursday. That's our first alert weather day. Here comes Celine. It'll be a weakening hurricane as it moves into southern areas of Georgia uh, throughout the day on Thursday. Should pass to the west of us, but that's going to bring with it the heavy rain and the isolated tornado threat in here as well. By Friday is by Friday morning. That storm is up into the Atlanta area, so our rain chances are going to be quickly decreasing Friday morning. I think by the afternoon we might even see a few breaks in the clouds to give us some sunshine out there as Celine moves away from the area. So for tomorrow, tomorrow is a good day to get out. And if you have anything around your house that could become a projectile in some of those gustier winds we're going to see on Thursday, go ahead and secure that. Bring that inside if you can, because we're going to keep the rain chance on the low side. So let's give you the latest on Helene. Still a tropical storm uh, throughout the day into the Caribbean, then becoming a hurricane Wednesday as it's just getting into southern areas of the Gulf of Mexico, and then a major hurricane with a landfall expected in the Big Bend of Florida. Florida Thursday evening, and as you can see, that track is going to take it just west of our area, but it's going to bring the impacts all across the uh, southeast. We expect the rain to begin early Thursday, becoming heavy. An isolated tornado can't be ruled out Thursday uh, afternoon, and especially Thursday night. That looks to be the worst Thursday night into the overnight hours about three, four o'clock in the morning on Friday, and then we're going to be decreasing all that activity throughout Friday afternoon. So we're going to get some heavy rain. This is not a Debbie event. It'll be in and out. We're thinking three to five inches plus 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts plus are possible isolated tornado threat, storm surge threat, not a big threat so far with this system, but power outages are going to be a concern. So make sure you have all those electronics charged before you get into Thursday. Again, once we get out through Friday morning, I think we get better Friday evening, the weekend keeping a slight chance for some showers and slightly cooler temps.